Hey, hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hello, hello. Um, just give me a shout out when you come in. Let me know if everything's coming in okay and clear and you can hear me. And if you happen to be brand new here at Girl Upcycled Studio, give me a shout out and introduce yourself. Um, just a little um, FYI, I am doing a double video right now. So if I'm looking at a different area, that's why I've got two cameras going on right now. Um, but I wanted to come on here and show you all how you can paint a fabric chair. Okay, it can be done. I'm gonna take my glasses off so there's not a glare on the camera. Um, it can be done, and I have been doing this live um, at one of the, um, two, about a week ago, I was doing this live. So, hello, hello, everybody. Um, I'm not seeing any comments. Um, Facebook's been acting a little wonky, so if, I, if you're asking me questions, hi, Maggie, how are you? From Green Bay, hello, Green Bay. Um, if you're trying to ask any questions, my, over on Facebook, which is over here, my Facebook has been acting wonky and I have not been able to see comments. Um, I went live yesterday in my Creators Club. Couldn't see one comment. So, um, so if you want to ask questions, I would love for you to ask questions. You can watch this on YouTube and probably ask questions there. All right. So first of all, my name's Kelly Weiler. I'm the owner here at Girl Upcycled Studio. The studio is located in Zanesville, Ohio. Oh, hi, Stacy. I am able to see some comments. Awesome. Um, we're located in Zanesville, Ohio. Zanesville's just about an hour east of Columbus, and I absolutely love and adore it when I can meet all of you in person. I love that. So if you're ever coming through, I'm going to try to readjust my cameras. If you're ever coming through, stop on by. Um, Maggie says, I have fallen in love with painting upholstery with DIY paint. Me too, girl. Let me just get these set up okay it's kind of hard to I'm trying to set up okay so anyway does anybody know what I'm using here this is one of our brand new colors it is called water lily one of my favorites it's kind of it's kind of like this beautiful periwinkle and I love it I just love it and it is the best way cycle and kind of like make an old chair new again even on pleather it works really well says maggie yes it does um so that's what we're working on today hi beth from ohio so nice to see you um so let's get started um if you have questions along the way jump in and i decided i would mix this in just a clear plastic cup which I don't normally do hi miss Jane I don't normally do that but I thought it would be kind of nice for you all to see um, how much I'm going to dilute this okay now those of you that want to you can totally measure this out but I'm just not that I'm just I just kind of just do the little dump thing all right and let's just use this water here. So I would probably say that's a good two tablespoons maybe. So to two tablespoons of paint, you would want to add, I don't know, let's see what we're gonna add. One, two, three. So I've got three tablespoons in there of water period we're just going to say that that's probably what it is you guys this is how i roll i am not one of those creators that measures everything out and i know i'm so sorry if that drives you crazy um but i'm a very visual person and that's kind of how i do it so i did um what one part paint to three parts water is what that comes to. So if you need an actual 
kind of a ratio that'll give you a good ratio. Look how watery it is. So this is kind of the key and the little secret to it is to get it like a dye, okay? You will want it to be very thin like a dye. And I've got a little chunk that just came off of my brush. Get that. And look, grab my paper towels real quick. Okay. And I want to show you guys how well this covers. So you can see right here, I left this special for all of you here on my YouTube channel and those of you watching here on my Facebook page. I kept this little space especially for you. I was even thinking of you when I was at my show. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm really just kind of smushing it in. Now, it's pretty thin down, right? And I kind of tell people when they are painting their fabric, go north, south, east, west, right? You're going to go in all the directions, right? See how I'm kind of going all up, down in all the directions? The reason for that is this has a pattern and it's a pretty deep pattern. I mean, you can see how deep that pattern is. And I wanna make sure that I get in all of those little grooves. So I'm going to cover it in all those directions. And that's one coat right there. So you can see how well, just with one coat, that that covers. And I would love to know if any of you have tried this yet. Just tuned in what paint to water ratio you want to use. Well, you can actually adjust it a little bit. Okay, so I did one part color to three parts water. You can adjust it. Now here's the thing that I want you to know. If you put this on very thick, does anybody know what's gonna happen? If you put this on thick, what will happen is it's going to basically lay right on top of that fabric. Yes, Maggie gets the gold star for the day. <laughs> So it lays right on top of the fabric and it doesn't soak in. So this first coat, we're just really putting this on to let it soak in and we're creating a dye, okay? And as you can see, it goes pretty easily. It goes pretty quick. This was just, this just had people so amazed when I was at the show doing this. So this again is the DIY clay-based paint. I know I mentioned that already, but I wanted to make sure y'all knew that, those of you that are coming in late. This DIY clay-based paint is an all-natural product. It's very highly pigmented. That is why when I water this down, it still stays very vibrant, okay? as this dries it's going to start looking more like this side over here so this side i have one coat so you can tell when it dries how well that covers right you can even um, sand a little bit in between which i didn't bring my sanding paper i don't know if i'll actually need to or not but i may and what that'll do, you want to use a very, very um, low grit or go very easy when you're sanding because you just want to sand a little bit on the paint. You don't want to sand the fabric away. Hi, Miss Josie. I am using Josie's brush right now. Did you notice that? If y'all are wondering, I'm using the Paint Pixie. This is the French tip. This is the largest one. And as you can see, if you look at my, my handle, it's very well loved. That to me is a well loved brush when you see something like that. And I do sell these on my website, 
at girlupcycledstudio.com. And for those of you on over on YouTube, I will drop all the links to this color, to the brush, and uh, answer any of your questions. But look how quick, guys. I'm almost done with that part. North, south, east, west. Now, I do have one that I painted that's kind of a low tufted velour. And it took a little more work just because it, it was a little bit thicker. But it still worked out really, really well. And I do have a video of that on my YouTube channel as well. And the way I did that one was I definitely sanded in between each layer. I think I did three three coats on that velour piece. And what I did, as well as sanding, was I took a brush, kind of like a scrub brush you would use to scrub your shower, and I scrubbed it real good while it was dry because I wanted to keep it soft. And it did, it kept it really, really soft, and, and that's kind of how I got around the whole fact that it was a little higher tucked. So that's it, gang. Right there, boom. We've got one coat, okay? So next, we're going to go through, and let's add a second coat to the side. And again, once again, you're going to um, water the paint down. I have a little bit left here, but I'm going to go ahead and do this again. I'm going to show you the very, very technical way that I do this, which is one, two, three, four. Okay. It's about two, two nice big tablespoons. And I got one, two, okay. So you can kind of play around with it, gang. You can do, if one, one part color to two parts color, it just kind of depends on the piece and the fabric that you're painting you can play around with it it doesn't it is not difficult please do not overthink this the main thing is to make sure that it's just thin so I kind of just like to eyeball it um, I need to go to your YouTube I sanded too I think it's operator error <laughs> Oh, shoot. So anyway, that's it, gang. And we're going to go ahead and start with this other coat. And I'm sorry, I'm standing in front of my light. So I think I'm going to come back over here. Okay. I have quite a few projects going on today. So... Like I said, you can sand in between the coats. Um, I'm not quite too worried about the back of this because it's the back of it, but I will probably sand a little bit on the seat. And I will show you how I did the front of this chair. Wait till you see the front of it. It's so pretty. Make sure I don't, hold on. Oh, I'm getting close to the edge. That would be not good for live TV, would it? To push the whole chair off of the edge. Or maybe it would. Right? Cliffhanger. All right. So you're gonna find during on the second coat that it's not going to absorb in like that first coat did, right? If you have any friends that would enjoy seeing this, let them know, will ya? That's the best way to help all these little businesses that you love and learn from. That's just the best way to get the word out on what we do and helps us grow our pages. And as you all know, it gets harder and harder. So we really do appreciate it when you let your friends know about us. Look at the coverage. So we've got a really good and if you're not I don't know if YouTube is showing quite as well but on 
or not YouTube, but Facebook. Um, on YouTube, there's a good picture of the second coat versus the one coat. So you guys can check that video out if you need a little better view of the color. But that's, you guys, I mean, that's all there is to it. There goes the train. The train. I think I'm looking at the legs of this and we have another new color and it's called Tarnished Pearl. So beautiful. It's just this beautiful antique kind of a white creamy yumminess and I think that's what I'm going to do on the legs. If I don't do that, I'll do like a stark white, like the um, white swan. I haven't decided yet, so which one I wanna do. So, but again, this is our new color. Um, and I have been selling through this like nobody's business. It's called Water Lily. One of my favorites. I really love Blue Iris as well. Um, we also have a new purple online. Um, that we offer now too and it's called cherry picked and it's this beautiful deep rich um, like black cherry kind of a color so look at the difference gang so we have one coat here and our second coat here and you can see how quick I just did that it was so fast so I do want to show you I wonder if I could turn this without upsetting anything hold on gang show you the front. Yes, I'm turning the whole table, not the chair, because I'm afraid I'll drop the chair. <laughs> oh, yeah, now. Because I'm like that. Wait till you see the front. Look at the front of this. beautiful right all it has all these little like grooves in it so the brush that I'm using I kind of wanted to show you why this brush is so great so again we're looking at the front I have one coat here and if you look up here I started to do my second coat so that gives you a good like one coat two coat kind of a feel for it but this brush so if you have any of these little grooves, like this chair has getting inside these little grooves, okay? And the chair's a little bit, I'm not, wasn't really prepared to show this, but you want to spread the little cushions apart and you want to get this kind of watery and smush it in there, okay? That's my technical term. We're, we're paint smushing but it is perfect for getting in those little grooves. And there are two sizes of brushes too. There's a smaller one. Um, this happens to be my favorite one. It's the bigger one. Um, and it's kind of gnawed off. I've used it so much, but I mean, hey, I still like it. It's just, it takes a lot of abuse. Let me, let me just put it that way, okay? It takes a lot of abuse. But when there's little buttons, so it's starting to run, so you want to make sure you don't want to let the runs kind of dry that way, because there'll be big clumps in your furniture in your um, chair. So you just want to pull that apart and a little brush right in there and whoop. Yes, yes, I do like to make sound effects. So are there any questions about this by any chance? Um, I know that this is probably not the normal you know thing maybe that some of you see or have seen so you can paint leather I haven't painted leather yet I have painted vinyl so I have painted vinyl and I'm, I'm not sure what is wrong with my picture here are there any questions from any of you over here on YouTube because I'm not seeing anything 
all messages are visible. Oh, there they are. Okay. It's like they have been blessed with magical pixie dust. That's right. Crush. <laughs> For sure. Um, doesn't it feel like painting, painting a bit? Doesn't it feel like painting a bit crap? Hmm. Melanie, I'm not understanding. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh! <laughs> Doesn't it feel like painting a butt crack? Well, I that is one thing, Melanie, that I have not painted yet. I have not painted a butt crack yet. <laughs> Girl, you are cracking me up. So, we, I'm talking to... <laughs> I'm talking to... Melanie Whitaker, so who also has a YouTube channel. So y'all need to y'all need to check her channel out as well. How do you turn your notifications off when you go live? Hmm. Um I don't know. I just there's a little snooze button. <laughs> she says I feel like that when I do the tufted pieces. I know. It stays buttery soft. It does, Maggie. It really does. So, okay, so I'm just gonna paint while we talk and we'll talk about the next layers. So, what you wanna do after this, you have some choices. So, what, the, what I tell my customers is this. If you have a piece of furniture and it's just gonna be um, like a bedroom, side chair, or something like that, you can put wax on on this to cure it. Um, if it's going to be like a really highly used item, like your kids are going to be in it. And I actually had somebody the other day and um, her dog's in the chair all the time. So she's painting it and she's going to do a seal of big top on top of this. So you totally can do that. So the what it's going to do is it's going to make your piece of furniture like it's vinyl something like that leathery or vinyl-y it's going to have that consistency okay and it'll be super easy to wipe it up okay so those of you that are moms out there and you have kids that have ruined one of your one of your chairs and it's the kids favorite chair that might be a good option change the that might be a good option for you um, because you know it'll just wipe right up and I I don't really see any difference in like sitting on it I know I have um, what is that stuff called from the seven or it's called so I have some pieces from like the 60s or 70s chairs at home and it just kind of feels like that to me. It doesn't feel any different. But my thing is, you know, when people come in and they're getting ready, they're like, oh, I think I have to reupholster my chair. I'm like, well, why don't you try painting it first? Because, I mean, what, what are you going to be out, really? I mean, if you're planning on putting all that money into it with upholstery, well, you're not going to be out anything but your time and your paint and they end up they actually end up liking it and then they come in and they have other things that need painted so it works out pretty well so you can kind of see again I'm putting on the second coat and you if you get it a little bit too thin mixed up a little bit too thin you can go ahead and put a third coat on it it just kind of up to you but I love this look how pretty this chair is guys so happy with it because I really really love the lines of all of the vintage chairs I don't always so much love the color you know like this one was that really really gold shiny gold so yeah so this will be in my studio 
for those of you that are local and you want to come in and touch and feel and look at this, you can. I also have a couple of other pieces of fabric um, upholsteries in here that you can put your hands on and just kind of get a feel for it. Um, I'll have this one. I'm just going to be working on this one throughout the week also. So if you're local and you want to come in and give it a try, I've got some little spots here that you can try it out, okay? So that's really it, gang. So I would love to know if any of you have tried this yet and how did it turn out for you? I would love to know. And that's going to be about it. So if you are brand new over here on my YouTube channel, I want to say thank you for being here. And um, just wanted to let you know if you love all things art, upcycling, or DIY, then this is a place that you're going to love to hang out. So I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to the channel, hit that little notification so that you get notified when I have a new little video up. And I do all kinds of fun things. Um, I'm working on a piece of art back behind us here. It's a commission piece, and so I'm always doing something new. I have a question coming in. What brand of paint? This is the DIY. Let me grab it so you can see. This is the DIY paint. It's an all-natural clay-based paint. I will drop the links. I sell it. Whoops. There we go. I sell it on my website, so I will drop the links to this paint, and this color in particular is Water Lily, and I just love it. Um, bye, Josie. Love you, girl. So anyway, I will drop the links to all the products, waxes, the big top can go on it to seal, complete video of this, so if you're asking questions about how this is done or how it's mixed, you can find the replay over here on my YouTube channel. So again, thanks so much for hanging out with me, everyone. Um, absolutely um, love seeing all of you here on YouTube. Thanks for hanging out on my channel. And I hope you come back and I hope you subscribe. So I will talk to you all real soon. All right, thanks guys.